Hey everybody, here we are again in SnowRunner, and we're doing the part two to my uh, my top ten heavy hauling trucks. And trucks that can have a box or a flat deck on them, because in this phase six map here in the lowlands, Maine, USA, the water's deep, and the water has a good current to it, and all the smaller flat deck and box trucks all get pushed around and sometimes it can't even cross a lot of the areas so in at number five let's see here the Pacific P512 dual front max now this truck here not only has dual front but it has a crane so this is our picker truck that we use a lot in this map here we'll just get through these trees here and then we'll have a look and see what what we're carrying for supplies here let's have a look at the refuel first so the truck has 3,333 liters of fuel the LED scout rack has 2,222 so we've got a nice amount of fuel now the repair parts, we got 64,000 times two parts and tires. So we have a lot. Now, did I just see something here? Let's look at the repair. Wow, see how if you look at the engine, suspension, and gearbox, they've all got 64,000 parts already in the truck itself. So, there's a lot of health points there. These trucks are made to last. So, here we go. We'll just rip through. These, these waters are some, like there's a lot of deeper water around. And with the amount of water on this map, and the amount of deep water on this map. You can't be driving around in those little wee trucks. Alright, so we'll turn sharp here and go back. We'll go through some of the little bit deeper puddles. These trucks handle superb in this in this condition. In this terrain here. They do a great, fantastic job getting the work done. The water is right to the bottom of the frame here. It's even pushing into the frame a bit. You can see the water coming up through the bottom of the box. This is the smallest of the top 10 trucks that we have here. But we need it to pick up all those pieces on all the islands. Rescue all that cargo that got washed away in the flood here. Nice big tires offer everything this truck needs. Good traction, good clearance. Okay, so that's in at number five. Now we'll change to the Zix 605R Max. Pull this one out. And now in the box it looks like like the fuel tanks that we got are showing through the box. But when we go to haul stuff, uh, we were hauling uh, concrete slabs earlier. They just go right over top of that and just covers it up. Okay, so let's look what this one has here. Again, 3,333 in the truck and 2,222 in the spare wheel. We've got a small fuel carrier that you can see sticking through the box there at 900. And then we've got some LED trunk supplies at 2007. So we've got a good shot of fuel. Now the repair. We've got 64,000 repair parts, 64,000 tires. And then on the next one, 64,000 repair parts. 
Okay. We'll carry on here. I have a little secret this truck is hiding. This truck is what I call a submarine truck. And we'll see why here shortly. This truck, when it goes through super deep water, the cab doesn't try to float. It, this truck stays right on the bottom of the river. So let's say we go down into the river here. Let's see how deep this river is. Not over there. This one on this other side is definitely beautiful. So we'll go down here and we'll go into the water. So there you go. Now you can see that we're merged, but the air, is, air intake is above the water. Let's do a, a, a let's do a loop here, just just to show. Because it does have a little bit deeper water in behind us here, I think. Right in here. Well, I guess that was the deepest part right there. So back up and go through it one more time. Just to show off this truck. This truck is really good. That way. You can fully submerge the truck. So this is one of the trucks that you absolutely must have on this map because the water is super deep in a lot of places and it'll drown out a lot of your trucks. And then there's a lot of the trucks, the cabs want to float, uh, so the front wheels come off the ground, the current pushes the front of the truck, and then you're not going anywhere. That's why we put together this video with these trucks to really showcase how, how these trucks handle this map. A lot of your other trucks just don't cut it on this map. So this truck takes third spot. Definitely, these top five trucks are superior. The top four, especially, are superior. Okay, so this was the fourth place truck. Now we'll get into the Antarctic. As of 420, 4220 Antarctic map. Now there's no chassis steer on this, so that's really fixed this truck. Uh, you can go on the side of a hill and turn your wheel and not have the whole chassis flex one way or another and then roll your truck down the hill because that's exactly what happens. So let's have a look here, see what we got here. 2000 in the roof rack. Yeah, we got lots. All right, 2000 to 2000. Now on the repair, we got 64,000 on a thousand and 64,000 on a thousand. All right, so we're set up. Now, this truck here is even taller than that previous one. And this truck here also can go underwater and act like a submarine. We'll just go stomping through all this water here. We've got way bigger tires on this truck than the previous one. We'll take it into the deep water here.
Now this truck doesn't fully go under because the water isn't quite deep enough here. Look at that, the current has stopped this truck. Oh no, not totally. Oh well, yes it has. The current is strong here. That other truck went through the water and totally ignored the current. This one's catching the current quite a bit. So this one, when the, when the water is not quite as strong like in that one spot there, this one can go through quite a bit deeper water than that previous one. And if we were going with the current, that wouldn't be a problem. So, we've got quite a bit of ground clearance here, and we just march through this water. Stomping all over this map. So that's number three. Pull it in here. And we'll shut it down. Now, this is the Kenny C500 Twin Steer 10x10. Now, this big truck here can handle some terrain. It doesn't have quite as high as snorkels, so you can't go through the super deep water. But we've got superior traction. Let's look at the refuel. We've got 710 in the three-slot bed, 300 in the sleeper. So that's a little over a thousand, and we've got a thousand in the truck. So we've got a couple thousand liters of fuel, which is really nice. The repair parts. We've got 1,710 plus 16 tires in the supply bed, and then in the sleeper, you got another 200 plus four. So you got some decent amount of repair and tires. So this truck can handle this map. We've got some really good tires on here. That's a fair sized truck to start with. It does have an option for a four pallet bed, but then you don't get the uh, little bit extra fuel and parts that come with this flat bed. So we're just ripping up this map with this truck. It does a really nice job. This is the number two truck. <laughs> Just ripping through here. Okay. Now we're gonna pull out the big gun. The number one truck for this map. Is the IX 5002M. M for monster, I'm sure. through here and we'll, we'll have a look. Now this truck is nice. Definitely, definitely nice truck. You can put five pallets on there I believe. Brakes work really good. Some of those other trucks have an issue with the brakes. 
Uh, let's see here. The refuel on this truck, we've got 500 in the deck. And we got 1,500 in the truck. So we got a couple thousand liters of fuel there, which is nice. And the repair parts, we've got 2,500 plus 20 in that deck. And if you look at the engine and, and the gas tank and the gearbox, they all have lots of hit points as well. So, there we go. Now this truck has huge tires, and actually we could even put bigger tires on it, but we wouldn't be able to get it out of the garage parking lot. Have to jump the fence. So we went with these tires. I believe these are like 98s or something like that. Yeah, we'll drive into the water here. So you can really you can really beat up this map with this truck. This truck is made for this map. It really, really conquers this map with authority. This is the absolute best truck for ripping around on this on this uh, map. We have assisted rear steer, so it does steer quite well for a for a really big truck. Like all the mark marker lights down the side. Really sharp looking truck. And you can see we got good ground clearance. This truck makes it look easy. <laughs> but we like it. We love it. This truck is awesome. Absolute awesome truck. It's number one for this map. And there you have it. These are the top ten trucks for the Phase 6 Lowlands map. Have a good day.